But I just think it is sick. It is deplorable. It is so un-American. It is so unpatriotic. Well, my son volunteered and joined the United States military as the Attorney General and went to Iraq for a year, won the Bronze Star and other commendations. He wasn't a sucker. The service men and women he served with, particularly those who did not come home, were not losers. How would you feel if you had a kid in Afghanistan right now? How would you feel if you lost a son, daughter, husband, wife? How would you feel, for real? You know in your heart, you know in your gut. It's deplorable. It's deplorable. I, quite frankly, if what is written in the Atlantic is true, it's disgusting. And it affirms what most of us believe to be true. That Donald Trump is not fit to be the job of president, to be the commander in chief. If these statements are true, the president should humbly apologize to every gold star mother and father and every blue star family that he's denigrated and insulted. Who the heck does he think he is? We have many obligations as a government. We only have one truly sacred obligation. Equip and support those who we send into harm's way, care for their families while they're gone, and care for them when they are home. That's the only truly sacred obligation the government has. Duty, honor, country. These are values that drive our service members. For somebody to say the things that they say, I said, is a total lie. Is it true? Well, we've heard from his own mouth his characterizations of an American era John McCain as a loser in 2015. Donald Trump said he was not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. And his dismissal of the traumatic brain injury suffered by troops serving in Iraq as mere headaches. He stood by, failing, failing to take action, or even raise the issue with Vladimir Putin, while the Kremlin puts bounties on the heads of American troops in Afghanistan. President Trump has demonstrated he has no sense of service, no loyalty to any cause other than himself. I'm always cautioned not to lose my temper. This may be as close as I've come, this campaign.